My name is Tony Mancia. I tattoo at a Stygian gallery in Atlanta, Georgia. The style of tattooing I'm known for is a mix of neo-surrealism and morphing elements to, you know, pretty much just have a lot more fun than copying. I've been doing that style for about 10 years now. When I was in art school, it was something I was pursuing. And as my tattooing has progressed over time, I was able to refine and push the style a lot more than you could in the past. I would absolutely choose black and gray over color any day. A few reasons, longevity of a tattoo, black and gray will stand the test of time a lot more than color will. Being able to push a style that involves transparencies, textures, morphing elements, you have a lot more freedom with black and gray to, you know, get the illusions and effects you would want to more so than color. So for me, black and gray. Three of the favorite tattoos I have done to this point would be this Atlantis leg sleeve. I completed it about three years ago. It was a real test to push the limits of, of detail and my style, and it was a good kind of forerunner to a lot of the larger scale work I'm doing now. One of the things is that no matter how much detail you could put in a piece, you need to know how long it's gonna last. If you do a tattoo just for an Instagram photo, it's not really the best choice for you or your client. So I would say that would be my favorite just because I was able to monitor the process. Recently, I finished a Calypso concept leg sleeve. Also, once again, a lot higher contrast. The elements in it were all based off of a duality, and I was able to mix a lot of mythology with the concept. And as a third, it's a tough one. A back piece I just completed, it's large scale, same concept. My, my goal with tattooing is to do what's necessary to push how far I can take my style, but also with the knowledge of what it's going to look like in 10, 20 years. All the little tricks don't matter if they don't look good over time. So I would say those are my three, top three for sure. When I'm choosing references for tattoos, I always start with a sketch. I will hand draw different layouts, compositions, and then I will start searching for reference. I used to be able to photograph a lot and I used to be able to kind of draw a lot more just given time, but recently I will reach out to other photographers and I will use a lot of the architecture photos I've taken just from traveling to create most of my pieces. So, and when I have extra time, I'll fully render a drawing and tattoo that. To get tattooed by me, it's a very interesting process. We have a lot of things in place to allow me to give the client the best possible tattoo and allow the client to be able to make it through the process. I'm only one person and I work six days a week, so my schedule gets pretty packed. Placement is definitely a big thing for me. I'm not really interested in doing sleeves just because I do so many. Creative freedom is good, but I want input from people. I, I don't want people to say, I want you to do your thing. I, I want people to come to me with a concept that we can both really bounce back and forth. Some ideas, the composition of a tattoo is, is of utmost importance to me. If it doesn't look good on the body and doesn't flow with the body, then it's not really worth it. So there's a lot of elements that come into play when choosing what pieces I would want to do and also what pieces I feel I can do to the best of my ability for the client. So. The best thing is to uh, contact us at stygiangallery.com, go through Charlie, he is uh, our manager and he will take it from there. I do have a waiting list we put most groups of people on just because I book my schedule about a year to a year and a half in advance and then rotate the schedule as I finish clients and uh, that's the easiest. My name is Tony Mancia, I work at a Stygian Gallery in Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you for viewing my portfolio.